But I need a volunteer. Volunteer. <gasps> Becky, what a plan. Come on up. I've never done Because we are not going to take a site today. Today we're going to make a site right here on this table. So number one, we need some sterile soil. This is how when you know when to stop digging. Um, controversial, I have a dinosaur sticker. <laughs> so if you are of the camp that it's okay to talk to kids that we don't dig dinosaurs, you can stick that underneath or at the bottom. Um, or you can even put it outside or you can forego the dinosaur. Should we do it? <laughs> Burn it. Okay, I'll put it underneath. All right, we don't do it. We don't do it. So 65 million years. Shoom. We're gonna add the subsoil. Stop. All right, our next thing we're gonna do. What do we? What comes next, Becky? If I'm digging this, this is, this is a site in Fernandina Beach in Florida. What comes next? Some little shells. Little rocks and stuff. Shells, charcoal, <laughs> stone tools, and even a little bit of sinew and cordage has magically stayed intact on our site. So we're going to sprinkle that in. We might even make a little uh, fire pit over here. We'll put a little cordage over with our sacred bundle. Oh, we lost a thing. All right, and let's mix it up with some, let's go with the blue. All right. Little Seattle Seahawk blue today. Um, so if we were digging this site in Fernandina, top down, we would bump into a historic layer. We had a Spanish settlement, um, so we have little bells from the mission. We have little um, pipe stems, though I would really like to put that big orange <laughs> We have some glass, we have some nails. What else do you see there? Uh, little pins. Little beads, yeah, little things. All right, sprinkle them in, Becky. Let's add it. Let's add it to our site. Um, and we could put the pipe stems right outside of our window. We could the, put the put bells over with the beads. Like yes, if we have some time. <laughs> all right, let's add a lovely layer. Let's add this. Let's add. Bernard gave me this today. I'm at a SHA conference. Let's say I drop it outside because I have lost like five hotel keys. So I can't even add that in. I'm going to add in my coffee creamer, the gum I got from my roommate. I went to the public day today. I got a pen over there. So we got some debris that I've scattered of my coffee sugar all up also on the top layer. So we have constructed our site. You can see the different layers. You could even go in and cause some disturbances. But your homework is not done. You have to go home, excavate this with your parents. And we have a form for you uh, that has your site name, observation, soil description, artifacts you found. Please draw it, send it to us. We'll post it on Facebook. Nobody's ever done it, but did. <laughs> and then when you're done and you can collect your artifacts and bag them, then when you are done, you can mark yourself with the tribe of FPAN and put your um, tattoo right up there. <laughs> so um, I'm not really sure I fall in the three minutes, but like me, for striking twice classrooms. We've done this with planners. They have this activity called Box City that goes through permitting and building all these little boxes. We said, well, let's do shoebox digs next to it. What kind of permitting, what kind of ordinance work goes on when you have to do this kind of work? We've done it um, at preservation conferences, library, summer library programs. I think we did 60 last year, not all shoebox digs, summer camps, festivals, and finally a blog post that features the um, Lesson plan, I did bring 10 lesson plans and 10 activity kits with me or contact me and I will mail one to you. <laughs> All right.